It's time now. <clears throat> it's time now for local and local sports. In sports, we have more from Saturday's 912 Sports Magazine Media Day as area coaches and players preview the upcoming season. Today, we talk with a couple of coaches. We begin with Wayne County's head football coach, Jay Bo Shaw. Coach Jay Bo Shaw, Media Day. Coach, you brought several of your players here. It is a big event, you know, previews the season, but you get to see a lot of coaches that you're going to go up against during the season. Yeah, just a great event. I mean, this this just shows you how important football is and in this part of the state, and you got some really good coaches in this area and some really talented football teams. So just any time we're able to showcase, you know, our players and, and really our community and and uh, and really get ready to kick off this season. So it's a great event. And, you know, we're very thankful that it's here in Jessup. We get to be kind of the host school. And, uh, you know, I've got several players here with me today, and, and they'll do a great job representing us uh, this afternoon. Big showdown coming up Friday, the scrimmage. Yeah. I got I got to ask you. It's, I already got my T-shirt called the Shaw Bowl. <laughs> You're going up against your dad, so I'm just curious. How much conversation is going on between you and your dad? And when you do talk, is it any football at all, or is it just family stuff? Yeah, we uh, we actually talked for the first time about the scrimmage probably last last week about the format about you know how things are going to go as far as operational and what we want to try and get out of it and. Uh, as far as the first and second half and, you know, how we'll do it. And so that part was, was kind of interesting because I've never been on the opposite sideline with my dad. Shared the sideline with him <laughs> plenty of times throughout my, my playing and, and coaching career. But uh, it'll be fun. You know, there, was, there were several things while we did this of, you know, protecting our film, uh, for one. And then, obviously, you know, Metters got Metters a really good football program, has been for several years now and made deep playoff runs. So I know football is important to that high school and that community and those kids. And uh, But it's, it's going to be exciting. I know, you know, firsthand that, that he's going to have a hard-nosed football team that's going to, you know, be extremely physical and fly around with the football. And, um, you know, it's – there will definitely be a friend. I, I say friendly. I don't know how friendly of a wager it will be, but there will be something on that ball game next Friday night. I don't want two sports media put out there a preseason team. Uh, got Tavion Wallace on defense, Matthew Fuller on offense. Nice honor for both those kids. Uh, you know, we talked about Matthew a lot, but this Tavion Wallace, just a rising junior. I hear he's getting offers from all kinds of schools. I've heard LSU, I've heard Ohio, Ohio State. I mean. How talented is this kid? Yeah, when you when you look at his kind of schools that are that have offered him and um, that are interested, it's it's the blue bloods of college football. When you think about it, I mean, it's the SEC, the Big Ten, the, you know, from you know all the way out west, you know. So uh, you know, he's just got such a bright future. And, and what I, what I like about Tavion is you really wouldn't know it when you talk to him. Um, you know, he, he goes about his business and. You know, he accepts coaching and accepts challenges the right way. And he certainly had a, has had a great summer. He's one of our leaders. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm certainly very proud that I get to coach him and he's a part of our football team. And um, But he's he's one of those guys that are just, you know, they're, he's extremely long. He can run extremely well. You know, there's not a lot like him, um, his skill set and what he brings to the table. and and. We're certainly going to use him uh, in more ways than we did last year. Okay, Coach, we're again, big event here today. Everybody's getting excited about that scrimmage on Friday, and then the season will be here, and we'll be checking in with you, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you, Bob, for being here, man. It's just always great to uh, represent Wayne County and, and at an event like this and just full of gratitude, and, and uh, our players feel the same way. So just very thankful to be here, and, and uh, we can't wait to get back in J.C. on Friday night. And once again, those comments to Coach J. Bo Shaw. Also on hand was Long County's head football coach, Mike Feaster. He begins his third year in Long County. He continues to build that Blue Tide football program. Two straight playoff years. They return seven starters on offense and ten on defense. Here's our conversation Saturday with the Blue Tide's head coach, Mike Feaster. Here at Long County, Coach Feaster, again, big success last year. It's hard to win in Long County. I know the history. I mean, they haven't had many winning seasons, but that winning season, getting the playoffs, uh, 
you're doing a great job doing that program. I know it's a tough thing to do over in Long County, but they always have athletes. They do. They do. That's one of the main parts about taking the jobs. They had players. Um, there's there's a lot of parts to building that team and that program. Um, I think we've got to the point where we build a good team. Our varsity team's winning games. Uh, making the playoffs two years in a row is a big deal. Our JV team's playing full JV seasons now, which they haven't done in the past. So we're building some depth. Uh, we're almost 285 and 90 kids in the roster, 9 through 12. So uh, building numbers, but we're growing as a school. So um, we have to make some commitments that way and uh, continue to grow our program and facilities. Um, but it's, it's been a great ride, and we got a bunch of really good kids. A big senior class, we got like 18, 19 seniors um, who are going to be the heart of the team. And they've been playing since they were sophomores when we got there. And uh, they give us a chance to be, be competitive every Friday night. A very talented running back. He beat the 912 Sports uh, All Preseason team. Tell us about him. Yeah, Mari Douglas. Uh, when I got there, he was just finished his freshman season and gotten called up, played some varsity. Um, knew he was a very talented kid. Um, he, he just has, he's different. Um, he don't have great size necessarily, but he's strong. Uh, he's a state champion weightlifter this year. Um, and in our scheme, he kind of has one specific task, and that's to sprint as fast as he can when we run trap. And, and there's going to be some times we run that, and it's going to be hitting the mouth for zero. But then a lot of times he busts it for big runs and touchdowns. And so he's been our most consistent rusher um, over 1,200 yards the last two years. I think he's 14, 1,500 last year. Um, so um, he, he's very, very productive for us. Tough region, though. Uh, tell us about your region. So, yeah, the region change. Um, our first year there, we were in the uh, the region with Pierce and Appling and, and Tatton and Brantley. And uh, geographically, that was a good fit for us. Um, a lot less travel. Um, but you had those two juggernauts of Pierce and Appling in there that was really, really hard to compete with. And then we go through reclassification and we stay in AAA and the, those guys drop down. So we go towards Savannah. Um, which in many ways is good um, in that it gives us you know, a good part of our region schedule we're very competitive with, uh, but you have those private schools that keep lumped in there with us. So uh, having Savannah Christian and Calvary in our region makes it very, very difficult uh, just in terms of how they operate and the things that they're allowed to do and, and their rosters um, are just uh, a lot different than ours. Um, but we're going to go and swing and play, the hard, you know, play as hard as we can and, and, and see, where, see where the chips fall. Okay, Coach, always good seeing you. Best of luck to you all. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. And once again, those comments of Long County head football coach Mike Feaster. Once again, we're bringing more comments this week from 912 Sports Magazine Media Day held Saturday at Coastal Pines Technical College. Reminder, the football scrimmage is this Friday night at Wayne County's J.C. Stadium, Wayne County against the Metter. Admission price $10 at the gate. Come on out and support the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Varsity Girls softball team ready for the 2023 season. They have a scrimmage Wednesday, August 2nd at Barbara Strokoff Softball Field. First pitch is 5.30. Again, come on out and support the Lady Jello Jackets. That's Wednesday, 5.30 against Effingham County. Wayne County Touchdown Club hosting their annual barbecue kickoff Friday, August 11th at the high school Commons area. Tickets that night at the door will be $15. The event begins at 6 p.m. First meeting of the Touchdown Club set for Tuesday, August 15th at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant, 7 p.m. Everyone's invited to join the Touchdown Club membership with meals this year, $175. L.A. Angels defeated the Braves last night by a final score of 4-1. to <clears throat> The Angels held the Braves to just four hits last night. So I cries for this three-game set in Atlanta. Superstar O'Shea Otani in town. Modern-day Babe Ruth as he has the major league lead in home runs. Also, their star pitcher cried booed last night when the Braves intentionally walked him last night in the game. Game two of the series tonight. First pitch, 7-20. Otani a free agent after this one-year $30 million deal with the Angels. Several teams, including Atlanta, Expected to join the bidding war in the offseason for the talent of O'Shea Yotani. Pine Forest Country Club getting ready for their men's golf association, OA Hunter Golf Tournament. This Saturday, August 5th, two person scramble, best ball, alternating shot format, 27 hole, one day event, 8 30 a.m. shotgun star, 220 per team. If you'd like to sign up, call the pro shop at 427 6505. Major League Baseball trade deadline ends today. Brace had made one move acquiring utility infielder. Nicky Lopez from Kansas City. In order to make room, they reassigned Charlie Culberson. Culberson had just one plate appearance all season. Ray's bullpen got a big boost last night as A.J. Minter is back in the lineup. Returns from the 15-day injured list. He had been dealing with shoulder inflammation. But he says he's good to go again, pitched in last night's game. Final note in sports, former Georgia Bulldog and NFL player Sonny Michel, two-time Super Bowl champion, announced his retirement yesterday after a six-year career. It was in the L.A. Rams camp. Sony, just 28 years of age, won a Super Bowl his rookie year with New England. 
won a second ring with the Rams three years later. Michelle was a first-round pick by the Patriots out of Georgia back in 2018. He scored the Patriots' only touchdown in their Super Bowl win, 13-3 over the Rams in Super Bowl 53. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.